Okay, so today the experiment is looking at uh, how good K1 is versus K3. Um, also looking at uh, how that compares to super fish bioballs uh, and checking the extent to which aerating your media rather than having it just floating around uh, improves your filtration. So I've got a setup here, the usual sort of setup. I've used Old Faithful household ammonia here. I've added uh, I've added about one and a half milligrams to each of these eight litre um, tanks. And, um, and we've got uh, an air stone in each with the same amount of air coming through that's been regulated. And I've got enough media that fills a, uh, a hundred milliliter container. So um, we're, we're comparing this on a level playing field with the same amount of space taken up by the different medias. Um, so the first test is K3. And that's just floating around um, so uh, it's going to have full exposure to the ammonia and the nitrite but it's not going to be aerated directly it's going to be um, just you know, having the water circulate around it as it goes around the tank then we've got one here this second one which is again K3 and this is going to um, this is this is 10 pieces as, as well as the first experiment where um, they're directly aerated in this perforated bottle I've, uh, I've just melted I've just melted that, uh, some holes at the bottom at the top, so it's gonna be a bit like a filter unit that you'd have in, uh, in a fish tank maybe. Now this next one is K1, so there's, uh, there's K1, uh, it's about a centimeter in diameter, uh, and I've got about 100 pieces of K1, that, that's the amount that you fit into about 100 milliliters of space. And again, we've got the same arrangement with a, uh, a makeshift filter with holes melted uh, in the top and bottom and the air stone and then last but not least we've got the super fish ball here that's just floating around free uh, which we can compare to the experiment one which has got the k3 so um, talking a little bit about these medias uh, k1 has got the highest surface area i've done a little bit of research and uh, it says that it's got 800 uh, meters squared of surface area for every meter cubed of, uh, of media. Um, now that compares with K3 that has 580 meters squared for every meter cubed of media. Um, but sometimes you'll hear people talk about the protected surface area. And funnily enough, these two have the same amount of protected surface area um, as, as each other when, when you're looking at a certain volume. So um, one meter cubed but both of those has a 500 meter squared surface area. So if it was protected surface area that really mattered, you'd expect those two to perform quite similarly. But if it's the, uh, if it's the performance uh, that comes from the total surface area, then we'd expect K1 to do much better. These bio balls over here, this is a much more traditional media, much more substantial, larger, and uh, the surface area of that is quite a lot lower. Uh, it's around 200 to 300 meters squared meter cubed of media. So we've got the same amount of air going into all of these. We need to see um, uh, how they um, compare in terms of the speed of, of um, uh, removing the ammonia from the, the water. Um, but before we jump to the results I'm just going to show you where I got this media from uh, so you know it's a fair test. So this is a 400 litre quarantine tank that I've got on a um, super fish filter and I also have it linked up to my main system so it, uh, it has uh, fish waste to treat all the time um, and uh, what I'm going to do to make this a fair test I'm going to take the media from this so I'm going to take my bio ball from the um, from there and I'm also going to collect various bits of K3 and various bits of K1 that we've got in here as well and this is from where I've changed media over and I've just um, thrown whatever I've got left in this tank. Uh, so this has all been matured for um, at least a year. Uh, it all should be matured to a similar level. So that should mean we've got a level playing field when it comes to testing the media. So we've got the results uh, here and uh, we've got a clear winner. The, the K1 media uh, in the moving bed arrangement uh, removed the ammonia in four days and the nitrite in five days. That compares to the K3 in a similar setup, which took uh, five days to remove the ammonia and eight days to remove the nitride. 
So broadly speaking, the um, K3 has taken about 50% longer um, to, uh, to remove uh, all the nitrides um, from that same amount of ammonia that I put in to start with. Uh, demonstrating that for a, a given amount of media that the uh, the K1 is um, quite quite noticeably better. Then we've got the difference between the K3 and um, that's in the bottle and the K3 that's just floating free. So the, the K3 that was floating free uh, took 11 days to remove the ammonia and actually at this point hasn't, uh, this is day 17, hasn't removed uh, all of the nitrides, so that's still going. I'll show up on the screen how long that actually took, but uh, I'm going to change this experiment around to do some other things so uh, it won't look as, as clearly laid out, um, And uh, but I'll report back on that on the screen. Uh, and then uh, last we've got the Superfish Bio Balls, um, the, the, or, or Bio Ball, and uh, that took 15 days to remove the ammonia, <clears throat> and that also hasn't removed the nitrite, although there's an awful lot more nitrite in that uh, at this point than there is in the um, in the K3 uh, that's free floating, which is the most direct comparison that we've got, um, showing that that's still got a long way to go. <clears throat> Again, I'll show that on the screen. I'll keep that experiment going um, so you can see how long that eventually took. So, what are the conclusions? The um, the overall conclusion is that if you want to get the most out of your fluidized bed arrangement, then you want to be using K1 rather than K3. Because, it, because the uh, higher surface area makes a meaningful difference in terms of the amount of waste it can treat for a given volume of, uh, of the filter um, bay that you're using. And you want to directly aerate and keep that uh, media flowing and moving around as much as possible uh, because that will benefit uh, the, um, the quantity of waste it can treat in a given amount of time. And, uh, and also turning that air up will also maximise the amount of gassing off ammonia that you have which we know from other, uh, another video that I've done is, uh, is very beneficial as well. So that's it for today. Um, I'll see you in the next video.